What is good, fellas and lady fellas? Welcome back to Just Dutch Guys today, tonight, this morning. It's almost 4 a.m. here in Maryland. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but I checked the I checked the Yu-Gi-Oh organization right before I went to bed. The place I always go for Yu-Gi-Oh news. Shout out to them. And we've got some new premium pack cards, including some Tin Dangle stuff, and then some generic fish stuff and other stuff. We'll get to. There's a couple of like it's like eight cards or something. Six, eight cards, some decent amount. We're gonna get through them. All right. So premium pack 2020. This is an OCG set. Keep that in mind. We do not have a comparable set to the premium pack, so we will like find out later down the road when we will get these cards. But I still like going over this news just to find out what cards eventually will uh, come to the TCG or just stuff to keep your eye on. So we'll start with a tin dangle card. Tin dangle doles. It looks like another creepy butthole thing. Yep. <laughs> it's a level 5 dark fiend flip effect monster with 1,000 attack, 1,000 defense. It's a level 5, which is weird. Okay, though. Um, you can only use the card's first and second effect once per turn. Each, if this card is sent from your hand or deck to the graveyard, you can target one Tendangle monster in your graveyard, except for itself, and special summon it in face down defense position. That's kind of nice. This becomes like an interesting, like, foolish burial target for, like, uh, just like a recovery play or something. You know what I mean? Uh, Armageddon Knight, stuff like that. I don't know if Armageddon Knight would actually be played in this deck, but that's okay. That's actually pretty interesting. It also has a flip effect, as per usual, where on flip you can send any spell or trap from your deck to the graveyard. That's a Foolish Burial Goods on flip. That's actually pretty good and generic, but it is level 5, so it can be hard to get set super easily. And then the third effect says, a Tin Dangle Link Monster that was Link Summoned using this card's material can make up to 3 attacks per battle phase. Now that is also interesting. I don't know how, how nice the Link Monsters are, but I think one of them is like 2400? 2,400 three times is 7,200 damage, folks. That's pretty good, right? I don't know. This card does a lot of, like, miscellaneous things. I'm just not sure. I don't even know anything about Tin Dangles. I know they're a flip deck, but uh, I'm curious to see how much this actually, you know, sl you know, smoothly slides into that archetype and su provides support. But uh, I'm curious. I'm curious to see. All right. Next up, we have a right-hand shark, which is pretty cool. I, he's cool. Look at him. Look at his design. He's cool. I dig him. All right. He's a level four water fish effect monster with 1500 attack, 1300 defense. He's got three uh, effects, and all three can be activated once per turn each. When this card is normal summon, you can add a left hand shark from your deck to the hand. I see where this is going. I got some like gadget esque stuff, right? If this card is in your graveyard and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card, but banish it if it leaves the field. Okay. And the third effect, an XC's monster that was XC summoned using only water monsters on the field, including this card as material, gains this effect. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay. This card's actually kind of just like generically pretty good. I mean, just saying, like, on normal, he's a plus one. Or if you can get him engraved without before summoning a monster, uh, he's just a monster on board. A free thing on board, and if you make an Xyz with him, he will not get banished, uh, which is nice. And then he also keep makes that monster protected by battle. Nice. I think this is a good card. It's like generically pretty good. And then we have Left Hand Shark here. Obviously, their designs are very, very similar. They just look like flopped, but in slightly different colors. Whatever. Left Hand Shark is a level three water fish monster, which is interesting because it's not level four, huh? Um, you can only use this card's first and third effects once per turn. Uh, if this card is in your hand or graveyard and you control a right hand shark, you can special summon this card, but banish it if it leaves the field. If this card is special summoned from the graveyard, it becomes level 4. And an XC's monster that was XC summoned using only water monsters on the field, including this card as material gains this effect, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So, first things first, like right hand shark, search left hand shark, special left hand shark, I mean that was just fear normal summon two bodies on board, I mean which it's just a straight plus one and the second body gets itself on board nice and easy, it becomes level four if you special summon it from grave though, so if you can get it to grave, it will become level four and you can make this XZ's with, you know, two water monsters and it will be indestructible by battle and card effects, making for a possibly really, like, powerful XZ's with the nice protection, so uh, definitely keep an eye on those. I actually like those quite a bit. 
Next up, we have Pendulum XYZ, a normal spell card. Uh, you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. Target two cards in your Pendulum Zone. Special summon them, but their effects are negated. And if you do, immediately after this effect resolves, XYZ summon one XYZ monster using only those two monsters as material. You can treat one of those one of the level of one of those materials as the same level as the other monster during this XZ summon. So that means no matter what your scales are, you can make an XZ summon of either of the levels of the ones that you're, you know, XZ summoning from. This is really interesting effect. Like, if you're playing a pendulum duck, like, after you've already pen summoned out, this could be, like, a nasty extender to just be like, okay, so maybe he, like, hand trapped you once or twice. You got, like, a, a mini pendulum summon off. Maybe they, like, veiler your, um... Uh, like your Electromite, and so like your Pendulum Summon was like, meh. But then you just activate this, and then just like, XZ Summon. Just add an XZ to whatever you had on your board. Interesting. It takes apart your skills, so it hurts your grind game. It's an interesting card. I don't think it's particularly good, but I think it's interesting. Next up, we have Dowsing Fusion, a normal spell card that you can only activate once per turn. Fusion Summon a Fusion Monster from your Extract by banishing monsters from your graveyard as material. You can only use Pendulum Monsters as materials to Fusion Summon with this effect. Now, that is so weird. Because you have to banish from Graveyard, but Pendulum Monsters don't go to Graveyard when you, like, link them off or do generic stuff with them. They all they all usually go to the extra deck. That's a very interesting card. I'm curious if it actually does come up in, in certain decks, but interesting more than anything could be possible. Um, Predaplant, Verte, Anaconda target, though. Keep that in mind. White Mirror is a normal spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. Target a level 4 lower fish monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Then you can add a monster with the same original name from your deck to your hand. That's pretty good. That has a monster born for any level 4 lower fish and then search the same card. That's a straight up plus one. I like that. I like that a lot. That works really well with these two guys. I mean, just like Reborn a, a right hand shark. And then search on the right hand shark. Normal summon, search, special, all the stuff. That's actually a really nice card. I like that a lot. And then lastly, we have Eternal Bond, a normal trap card. You can only use this card's name. This card names first and second effect once per turn each. Target any number of photon monsters in your graveyard. Special summon them, but their effects are negated. We have a soul charge. We have a trap soul charge for photons. Also, during your main phase, you can banish this card from the graveyard. Then target a photon monster your opponent controls. Gain control of that monster. Also, for the rest of this turn, you cannot declare an attack with monsters, except with that monster. Also, that monster's attack becomes equal to the combined original attack of all photon monsters you control. Um, that's a really weird second effect. Is that just me, or is that a really weird second effect? Uh, there has to be something in photons where like you can swap monsters with your opponent or something and then take your own monster back and then you can just punch in for one quick kill right other than that it's a soul charge i mean you, i don't hate it <laughs> i don't know how good it is I, I don't think it's searchable or anything um but at the end of the day who am i to tell you that a that an in archetype soul charge is not very good i mean look at will of the salamangri most players are playing that at the very least so um yeah I think this card's solid. I, I don't really know the specific situations why when the second effect will come up, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Guys, that's going to do it here for the news here tonight. Nothing too crazy. We got a nice tin dangle monster. I actually really like all three of these fish cards actually quite a bit. Right hand shark, left hand shark, and our monster reborn and search white mirror card. We're like slowly and slowly because like, didn't we not too long ago get like some decent fish cards? Like, just fish cards. Really interesting. I'm curious to see where that could go in the future. But, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more news videos from me covering, you know, new cards as they get revealed, go and subscribe to the channel um, for more of that stuff. And if you love the creepy butthole deck, Tin Dangles, you know, throw some hearts in the comment section for your boy. I need it looking at this terrifying monster. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.